Hey, my name is Dan Devine. I'm the mayor of the city of West Dallas. And I was asked by the library staff to contribute to an oral history project regarding a live music experience that I've had in my life. It really got me thinking. I've seen a lot of bands in concert, but the one that really sticks out to me was in 1992. And I went to a place called The Unicorn, which was on 3rd and Juno in the city of Milwaukee. And it was owned by Gus Husseini, who coincidentally now owns Gus's Deli on 60th Street here in West Dallas. So the unicorn was in the basement of the Sydney High building, which is now torn down. It was a very eclectic mix of musicians, restaurants, apartments. It was, it was just kind of an iconic old building that um, was quite, quite a mix. And in 1992, the Smashing Pumpkins were playing a show there and it was $10 to get in and see the Smashing Pumpkins. This was before they were filling arenas. So I was a 21 year old kid. I went there with some friends and the thing I remember about the unicorn is the ceiling was incredibly low. The walls were like a cave. It was all painted black. Every show was so hot because there was no air moving around in the unicorn. And I got up to see the pumpkins and I, I worked my way up to the front row. And I guess fully admit I was a 21 year old kid. I had a huge crush on Darcy from the Smashing Pumpkins. And turns out where I muscled up to the front was about three feet away from her for the entire concert. And I swear it was about 90 degrees in there. The sound was very loud. It was very hot. Everybody was dripping with sweat. The ceiling was low, but the concert was just outstanding. I remember before the concert, I got an autograph from Billy Corgan. He signed one of the flyers from the unicorn that I had uh, torn off the wall and then saw the show. And afterwards I got a photograph with Darcy, which I still have on my computer. I found it in my basement a couple of uh, months ago when I was cleaning. So 1990 1992, it was at the unicorn on 3rd and Juno and it was the Smashing Pumpkins. And there were some opening bands, but honestly, I can't remember who they were at this point. So. That's my story, that's my contribution, thanks.